23 Chicago public schools have received free art collections since the beginning of the school year. That's thanks to Chicago nonprofit I Paint My Mind, which is dedicated to art education. Our arts correspondent, Angel Edo, explains how the nonprofit is able to provide these collections with the help of their art subscription concept. Oh, What's that? Nonprofit I Paint My Mind wants to make sure art is accessible for all students. So they created an art subscription program with the help of local artists and corporate partners. The Shared Walls program is what we call it, where we lease art to clients, then use those funds to put uh, art galleries in schools. Um, we've been in every ward in the city, um, over 70 community art exhibitions throughout Chicago, um, and that's been in five years. The nonprofit purchases art collections from local artists to lease to those clients or hang in schools. They've developed a large collection that currently totals 1,300 prints. One of those collections hangs in Fulton Galley, a food hall in the West Loop. Together, the food hall and the nonprofit curated their walls with sneakers by local artist All Star Press. About 80% of those artists are local, including visual artist Greg Galindo Rosa. Rosa's latest collection for the nonprofit can be seen hanging on the walls of Northwest Middle School. It's a Chicago version of the Mexican game Lotaria. Why did you name that pan dulce instead of the concha? concha? Good question. You are the. I always think about that too, and you're the first person to ask me that. Like the nonprofit, Rosa also wants to make all types of art accessible for all students. Knowing that the youth can see my art in their school and then also feel a tie to it or feel like I understand this or just, you know, makes sense to me, that's really important. Having the artwork here, I'll be able to bring my students down to see the art in their school instead of going to a gallery, which is incredible. Um, they'll be able to see this art here and then we'll be able to go back upstairs, talk about it and make, create art in our art classroom based on the art that we're seeing here. Teachers say they're grateful for these collections because they want to remind their students that forming opinions about art is an opportunity they deserve. It brings dignity to our school too, and our kids are seen and they feel important because this is here and it's, and it's about them. With a goal of providing free collections for schools for at least four years, the nonprofit says they want to partner with people who want to be a part of their Get Art, Give Art concept bringing these art galleries and programs to every CPS school is something we would love to see happen over the next couple years. And making sure that our art collection reflects the communities we serve. For us, it's really important that the dialogue around curation is something that happens with the partner or the client. That the art isn't an imposition, but really fits into the fabric of the community in some way. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Angel Ito. The schools also receive art curriculum to go along with the collection, as well as a workshop with the artist of the collection held at the end of the school year. There's more on this story on our website.